How good does that feel to be able to officially call her your wife? We've been calling each other that since we met, I swear to God, but now it's just real. Not so fast. Tana Mojo and Jake Paul had a wedding, but are they actually married? Like, legally? Tana Paul. That's me. We looked into it, and there is not a marriage license or certificate listed under either of their names. You may kiss the bride. Even more, their officiant is not registered with Clark County, which he would have to be in order to legally marry the couple. Jake proposed to Tana in Vegas during Tana's 21st birthday celebration on June 24th. He really does spoil me, and it's crazy because it's like, I really would love you without all of that. I mean that. I feel like I just have to say that every eight seconds. Like, love and and there's all this material. I don't know, whatever. I'll shut up. Thanks for the ring. Yeah, Thanks no for problem, the rolling. No problem, no problem. Daddy's rich. <laughs> <laughs> and the ceremony took place less than a month later in Sin City on July 28th. Like everything was unconventional. You know, like you're not supposed to see the bride it's before the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, everything was unconventional, but we're so unconventional that it was almost like imagine if we had a normal wedding. It wouldn't like, be as fun. It wouldn't be. And we, like, we sent it. It. it was it was so much fun and now we're trying to maintain that energy for all this craziness but like it's all love we're so dead the validity of their quickie wedding has been under scrutiny by many especially after tana said this on her reality show tana turns 21. don't get me wrong i think a wedding is a very serious thing but at the same time i think jake and i don't take things very seriously and i have a lot of love for him but it's still something fun and lighthearted that we're obviously doing for fun and for content she later responded with a lengthy Twitter thread saying she understands people's frustrations with this clip. Quote, the for fun and content soundbite was from a very long sentence, LMAO, and was a little salty to see it pulled out of context. I know that things have moved so fast, are unconventional and confusing, but I love Jake. ET has reached out to their reps for comment.